Today we're in Seattle. We'll be here for one day, uh, 12 hours to be exact. We'll have about seven hours to explore the city. Our flight doesn't depart till nine. Right now we're heading over to the Link Rail to head into uh, downtown Seattle. All right, so we're now just waiting in line to buy our, our Orca card. It's their basically a card that you can use on their public transportation here. They have a regional pass for all day, which is $8. So basically you get to use that all day for fares up to $350. Anything over $350, you do have to pay out of your own pocket using the Orca app on the ePurse. But pretty much it's unlimited rides as long as they're $350 and below. You, you, have to, you have to pay out of pocket to record here, man. <laughs> I think it'll be a flat $50. I think 50 will work. <laughs> so where are you guys going today? Uh, we're get, we want to do the regional pass. Hmm? The regional, the Orca regional. Oh, okay. So do you need a car? Yeah, already? we yeah, yeah we need one too. The day pass, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's one. And that's two. All right. So now we'll use our Orca card for the rest of the day and time to catch the link. I'll put it away in, once we get in there. Is this, this one's going towards Seattle? Correct. I forgot to mention the uh, train ride from SeaTac Airport to downtown Seattle is 36 minutes. Okay, so we've made it to our first stop, the uh, Amazon Spears. Um, we're just looking at them from the outside. There are days that they do allow the public to go inside. And that's the uh, Amazon Spears. All right, we're heading to our second stop, which is a food spot. Well, not technically food, more, more like dessert, top pot donuts. And we got the monorail right there, which we'll be taking up to the Space Needle after we eat our donut. This tree's kind of covering up the sign, but Hot pot donuts. Hi, do you guys have any apple fritters left? Oh. Okay, I can I'll take one raspberry bullseye. Yeah. Raspberry bullseye. Alright, our donut. Took a bite already. I guess the apple fritters are the more popular ones, which is the one we were trying to get, but they were already sold out. So the uh, raspberry bullseye, it's good. All right, now taking the monorail to the uh, Space Needle. First shot of the Space Needle. So we're now in uh, the Seattle Center. We're not gonna go up into the Space Needle because of time and there, I can see there's a huge line already. So we're pretty much just getting pictures of it from the outside, looking at it from the outside, but we are trying a Seattle dog here at the Seattle Center. It is a time ticket, even if you do have time tickets. I've read that even though with the time ticket, the line just to get to the elevator, you could be waiting in there from anywhere from an hour to three hours. Again, we only have seven hours today to explore, so that's why we're not going inside. Okay, so we've made it to our next stop, Dog in the Park, and we're gonna try the Seattle Dog. It's a hot dog with cream cheese. They say, don't knock it until you try it. California? Yeah. 
Yeah, let me know this one in the California hot dog with 25. Oh. You got a Seattle one? Yeah, Seattle. Yeah. Oh, you can give it to me. Thank you. All right, so that's it for the Space Needle. We're gonna jump on some line scooters and head up to Cary Park now. All right, so we're gonna get ready to hop on the line, put the camera away until we get to Cary Park. All right, just parked the line scooters and we have arrived at Cary Park. And we are very lucky with the weather. We have clear skies so we can see the uh, Seattle skyline, the Space Needle, Mount Rainier in the far distance, Puget Sound. So we're leaving Cary Park now. We are walking to catch the bus and we're going to the Fremont Trail next. All right, so we just made it to the Fremont Trail. We ended up taking a, a, a lift instead of the bus because um, we're gonna end up waiting like 30 minutes at the bus stop just for it to come. But here's the Fremont Trail. Take a quick picture in front of the troll. All right, so we walked down the hill from the Fremont Troll, sorry. And uh, this time we are catching the bus to Seattle. Okay, we're back in the downtown area. We're going to grab something to eat at Porosky's Porosky. And then we're going to head down to uh, Pike's Place afterwards. <gasps> it's closed. They said it was closed on the Google. Porosky's closed. There's one down at Pike's Place, but it's usually really crowded. So that's why I chose to do this one. But I guess we're heading over to Pike's Place then. Okay, so we are at uh, Pike's Place now. I'm gonna grab something to eat, um, go down the gum wall, and then head over to the waterfront afterwards. All right, so this is the public market at 2.16 in the afternoon, pretty crowded. So again, we're going to uh, Porosky Porosky over here since the one in the uh, downtown area was closed. Okay, so we made it to the Proski Proskis at the uh, Pike Place Market, and there is a line, but it's going by pretty quick, so. All right, so I'm gonna get one of these, and then their best seller, because the, can I get a beef and cheese and the chicken curry rice? And then also an apple cinnamon roll. All right, so this is the uh, beef, beef and cheese one. Switch. And then this is the chicken and curry one. Pretty good. Leon's getting some ice cream at this ice cream shop and this nice big wine. Sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. It's for the first original Starbucks here. But anyways, here, here's the ice cream and I guess candy shop. And this is as close as I'm going to get to seeing the real Starbucks. Yep, that's about it. Not waiting in that line. <laughs> okay, we're going to head across the street, but i got to wait for the uh... Getting out of this chaos, got the shot of them throwing the fish. Now we're heading down to the gum wall. Uh -huh. It's pretty dark down here. I don't remember being that dark. So that was the gum walk, and we're continuing down Post Alley. Um, I think I'm gonna head over to a hard cider, hard cider brewery. 
Oh my God, it's hard for me to say. Continuing down on Post Alley, we are stopping at the uh, Locust Cider Brewing Company to do a flight. And then from here, we'll head on to the uh, waterfront. All right, so here's our flight and our six flavors. Uh, I think it was blackberry, peach, pear, imperial pineapple, watermelon, and blueberry blues. Okay, so we're actually gonna get on the uh, Ferris wheel. Somewhat of a line, but a lot better than the uh, space wheel. Mm -hmm. What? Is this moving already? No, Seahawks. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if you see the space needle from here. Oh yeah, you can look at. Okay, so after the Great Wheel, we just been walking around the waterfront. I uh, did some souvenir shopping. I got my Christmas ornament and my patch for my backpack. Um, we have about an hour and 30 minutes before we have to head towards the bus to get to the link to head back to the airport. So we're just gonna spend the rest of the time here at the waterfront. All right, so I think this will be our last stop for today's Ivers Fish Bar. We're just gonna get some fish and chips. All right, so we got the Alaskan cod that's Cajun seasoning and some fries. Sitting by the water and enjoying our food. Cause then they're gonna go crazy. Look at it, it's like barking at us. Okay, so this is our official last stop before we head back to the airport. We're at Pioneer Square. And as I was explaining to Leon, when I came back here um, a few years ago, this staircase leads to the under, um, part of the underground tour. The uh, city of Seattle burnt down. I don't, can't even remember. And basically they built the city on top. And then this structure right here has been sinking. That's a huge tour group. Okay. Wait for them to pass Some so I can days. get it. One day they will get it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're on the bus now. I'm going to take it to get to the Link um, Station and then head over to uh, the SeaTac Airport. Alright, back at the Soto Station to catch the Link which we just missed one right there. We should be able to get one shortly. Huh? Do you need any help finding where you're going? Um, that train? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, can you stop it? <laughs> they come every 15 minutes. Yeah, so that's they, right. they come up like every 10 minutes, they'll sit here for about five and right. then they'll go back down. So okay, sorry. thank you. So we made it back to SeaTech Airport. It is 7 p.m. now. When we left this morning, it was 9 o'clock in the morning, and now we're returning at 7, so we got to explore for a good 10 hours. Actually, it's eight hours because the um, commute to downtown was an hour and 30 minutes, and then back was an hour. Our flight leaves in an hour, so that basically completes our 12 hours here. So that's it for this one. Until the next one.